Did they search their house up and down? Get all living out their house. But living according to the scripture is sin. That's right. That's right. And your house is your body. So if, 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 if uh, Adam and you is and getting that living out your cupboard, you need to be getting sin about your house, your body. You see what I'm saying? And no matter how much you search, you still gonna have some type of living in there. That's right. Because that paint on your wall bubbles up too. Oh, that's right. You gonna scrape the paint off your wall? Right. See, it's a deeper spiritual significance to what the Lord. You feel me? He'll show you something in the past, but it'll play out and bring it fulfillment in the future. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Isaiah had a son. Read chapter eight. He did. That was a sign for that time. You feel me? One, his name don't mean God with us. Right. Right. And the vision of Isaiah's son go all the way over to chapter twelve. Isaiah's son named me the spoil of the bullies of war. Y'all hear that? When you look that word, it's his name, Mahal, Shaw, Boaz, whatever. When you look it up in the dictionary, the concordance, it says the spoil of the bullies of war. They don't ever mention that when they talk about Isaiah's son. His name don't even line up. So the Messiah was showing you how Emmanuel, see, we get caught up in the name itself, but it's the work behind that name. God with us was Isaiah's son, God with us. Mm -hmm. That's that what it comes down to. Christ anointed me, anointed Savior, God with us, the anointed Savior. Huh. When you read the Apocrypha, this says Jesus, the son of none, you know immediately that's talking about Joshua. Joshua. Right. And not Jesus, but it shows you they have the same name. Right. Yeah, uh, Jesus is the Greek name for Joshua. And not only that. Some people say Yahshua. Joshua. Uh, right. Yeah, out your some brothers and sisters. Your house shy means Joseph. I mean, means Joshua. Now, now look, means the salvation of Yah. Right. They accept the unblemished lamb. Do you know? For two weeks, they was going over this lamb with a lamb <laughs> tooth comb for the red heifer had to be sacrificed. And if they found one white hair that long, it disqualified one. It took two weeks to go over this. And you won't say that Joseph and Mary was so hot and full of lust. <laughs> That's automatically going to disqualify him. Even if it was according to sex as we know it. He, you, he's disqualified. Yeah. Oh yeah. my, is Joseph trying to hide what's going on? Too early? Too early is lust. Ain't that what it been for us? Come on. Yep. Your mama before she get home. Come on. I promise. Just this much. Come on. <laughs> then you get the news. I'm pregnant. I missed that time. You think this is how the Messiah was born in the world? To save mankind through that? No. Solomon, not Solomon, David's firstborn son with Bathsheba was born through lust. That same kind. What do you mean? And y'all saying this is the same way Christ come in here? It don't make sense. It don't make sense. We're going to read some more of these scriptures and tie it on these. we got a couple more we're going to end it. Let's get back to this Luke 1. Luke 1, verse 34. Sister, I'm going to take back that Jeremiah 22, show Joseph and them forefathers how the prophesied they would never have none to see on the throne again. Well, the Matthew 1, Joseph Lenny showed them the same men, right? Then showed that Joseph ain't even on record be getting Christ. Uh oh. And all these other men, so and so, he got so and so. Joseph ain't even on record be getting Christ. Get on down to that verse 25. He said he didn't have sexual in contact with us until after Christ was born. Right. Right? Then take him to Luke 1. You see what I'm saying? That's how you do that. Again, you gotta go let the scripture show for themselves. Right. Many people are here teach that. Joseph Christ's father. Now, when we finish this Luke 1, they got from the time Mary get the message to her getting to Elizabeth uh -oh. to put Joseph in the mix somewhere. Right. You ain't got it. He ain't, he ain't even around. Right. All right, come on, bro. Luke 1, verse 34. Yeah. Then Mary said unto the angel, How shall this be? Seeing I know not a man. Right. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Now Joseph don't creep me. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Come on. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Uh -huh. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee uh -huh. shall be called the Son of God. Now, Son of Joseph. The Son of God. Now, we ask some brothers, are y'all saying the Holy Ghost overshadowing? And the power of God, Joseph. Right. 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 And the Holy Spirit is absent.
absolute truth. So you're saying absolute truth and the offspring of it is lust. Right. <laughs> right. It, ain't make it, it sound real silly once you put it in perspective. Yeah. You know, the proper perspective, it sound real like it got, it got, it got Swiss, this Swiss cheese dot. It got holes in it. See that? So the angel answered. This is what we teach as a camp, what the messenger of Yah told her. We teach, and the angel asked. She asked about conception. Me and Joseph ain't got down with no, God. How am I going to have a seed if I ain't got down with the one I'm espoused to? The angel answers. Read that verse again, bro. Verse 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So is that Joseph? No. That, that's what you're saying. If Joseph, if Joseph begot Christ, you're saying that Joseph is the Holy Ghost from on high. And the power of the highest. Yeah, that quiet. Come on, brother. 36. Yeah. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. Come on. For with God nothing shall be impossible. See that? Nothing shall be impossible with the most high. So get that out your mind. It can't happen. You believe Adam was born from this? Right. Don't you? Yeah. You, so you believe the dirt man theory, but you can't believe this. <laughs> now make it six. 38. And Mary said, Behold the handmaiden of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word, and the angel departed from her. So Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. What was the word of the angel? What was the word? Verse 35. And Mary said, all right, I accept it. Conception. That's what she can see. Right there. Read the very next verse, 39. And then they got between her, 38, and 39 to put Joseph in the picture somewhere. Right. 39, what do you say, bro? And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste. With what? With haste. That's it. She got up and, and, and got there quick. There wasn't no, her, she stopped off at Joseph's shack. That's what a brother told us before. On her way to Elizabeth, she stopped off and got with Joseph. What we call that today? Where you read that? A BC? Huh? Come on, bro. And, uh, into a city of Judah. All right, that's it for that. Now, let's get to the Psalms 19. So Isaiah 9, Luke 1 answers that. The son that is born that will get the kingdom of the Most High and will have a never-ending kingdom is speaking about Jesus Christ. Not Isaiah, son. If they take you to Isaiah 7 and, and then say, okay, let's go to chapter 8 and read, politely tell them, keep reading in chapter 9. Uh-oh. Read again. Get on over there to that chapter 11. We're talking about he coming out of Jesse. Ended with that chapter 12, and you'll see it ain't talking about nobody else but the Messiah. Right. Yeah, Isaiah had a son. Yeah, it was for a sign for that time, but it's a deep fulfillment coming in the future. All right? Now, let's go over to Psalm 14. There's another question I ask you just wait with breath. This a killer. And see, y'all, we have to understand also, the Most High tells us, ain't nothing on this earth that's done to be so far from your thought process. He said, ain't nothing new under the sun. He tell you, if you don't believe it in this, look to nature. Because everything in nature follows the rules of the Most High. Man is the only one to break them. The sun, the moon, and the stars, grass grow when they're supposed to. Animals make like how they're supposed to. So there's something called parthenogenesis. It's where female dragons or certain fish or certain bees or different things have children or offspring with no sex from the male partnership. Now we accept that. Right. Look up part we know Genesis. Right. They said majority of the time the, uh, the, the, the chromosome of the XX is usually a girl, but they don't rule out a boy. But well, Christ was born on this wide. Supernatural. Like Adam. He wasn't compared to how David was born. David told you in Psalm 51, I was born through a neck. I don't know what Jesse was thinking. <laughs> I get to Psalm 14. 
I asked the brother, who is, who is David talking about from Psalm 110 chapter? He said, you know, that's a good one, brother. Uh, I'm going to have to get back. I'm going to do some more study and get back with you. I said, yeah, well, that's your homework. I said, all right, there. Right. You show what Old Testament prophet of king is sitting next to the father on half. He must have just started reading, man. There's no way he can get him out of this. bro. There was no answer. And any non messianic ain't got a scriptural answer for that. Y'all, the whole problem is the word of Jesus at the beginning. They, they taught them that that word has a problem. You can't say it. But they can never link the word Jesus to what they are cursing it to. You can't link it to Zeus. And you can't make it say something else. Every concordant is safe. The safe. Or the Greek or Hebrew, this, Joshua. Yep. But it don't link to Zeus or no immaculate conception being. Uh -huh. You can't put the two together. No more than you can put Roman Catholicism, which called Christianity, and say that's coming out of here. This say no Hail Marys to man. Yeah. Right. Only way to the Father, <coughs> to the Son. That's in Roman Catholicism. That's Christianity. That ain't this. That can't be found in your worship your mom. And by the way, uh, uh, that immaculate conception, he slept with his mom. Yeah, remember uh, Christ didn't sleep with his mom. Mm -hmm. So right. we ain't talking about the same thing. It may sound the same, but that's called immaculate conception, which made Mary immaculate who was without sin. Right. Not the Christ, that's in that doctrine. But this called the virgin birth. Two different things. I don't know what it is. They'll say it's Babylonian. It's a bootleg virgin. You go, you go that back to conception. You go on back to Babylon, and you find out that Nimrod had sexual relations with Samaritans, his mom. He's what burned him back like the house. M.F. Like Bob. Like Bob. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone. Well, let's get this. Psalm 14. We, we asked the nine messianic maniac. We asked him. We said, Psalms 110, the Lord said unto my Lord, David, the most powerful man in the earth, uh-oh, he's the king, the most powerful man in the earth in his day, acknowledged that there was a Lord sitting next to the Father in the heaven. Who's David's Lord? Well, brother, that's a good one. I'm going to have to get back to you. Come on, let's get it. Psalm 110, chapter. Psalm. 110 verse 1. We only got a couple more, y'all. Only got a couple more. I'm just showing you. Somebody might ask me why you believe Christ the Messiah. Right. You got to be able to show. You got to be able to show. We passed the time of winging it, half stepping. You going to have to show. This is, this is a do some spirits out here. And I had you thinking Elijah Muhammad was the Messiah. Man. Just yeah. like if you read the two lineages, somebody told you, somebody told you those lineages were different. The Bible temple with you, or he even come up off the script. Yeah. He's speaking of Matthew chapter 1 and Luke chapter 3. Right. There's two lineages of Jesus Christ in the Bible. Be confused. One is Joseph's lineage back to David, the other one is Mary's lineage back to David. And that is back to the Adam, the yeah. son of God. Right. David's son, Nathan. Yeah. Not David's son, uh, uh, Solomon. We asked the brother, why these two different lineages in here? The names are different between David and Joseph. 14 different names. Why are they different, brother? Brother, I don't know why it's different. <laughs> you won't be teaching that Joseph is father, but you can't even answer this. Luke 3 and 23 say Jesus being as was supposed the son of Joseph. Meaning it was thought that, right? Right? It can't be wrong. Right. You got something to it? Yeah, just like the uh, person told y'all, he said he told y'all that Deuteronomy 18, that that was uh, because he said he was going to be born like unto me, that he must have been had a father. Yeah, yeah. But at that time, the only person that had that it happened to was Adam. Yeah. Other than that, what was so special about it, all the men had been born to a father at that time. Right. Moses was a deliverer, delivering his people out of captivity right. through the power of the Moses. Mm -hmm. Christ the only other person on record for to do that. And he fell short. Mm -hmm. And he, he fell short. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> Change your mind. Let's get to Psalm 14. Psalm 110, chapter, verse 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies 
thy footstool. That's two lords right there. The Lord, the, Lord, the Most High, said to my Lord, sit thou at my right hand till I make his enemies your footstool. You take a non-Messianic herd that don't believe in Christ. But who is David's Lord? Sitting at the right hand of the Lord. That's going to be a problem. And show me with the Old Testament only. Since you don't believe in the New Testament. That's right. And we have proof. Come on, brother. Verse 2. Yeah. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Come on. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemy. Uh. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauty of holiness, from the womb of the morning. Though thou hast the dew of thy youth, the Lord has sworn and will not repent. Come on. Thou art a priest forever. After the order of Melchizedek. Ah, uh, so whoever's sitting at the right hand of the Father is a priest forever. Okay. After the order of Melchizedek. We need to break down that last week. Alright? Come on, brother. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. See that? That Lord sitting at the right hand of the Father is going to be striking through the kings of the earth in the day of his wrath. That's right. Showing you he's returning to go to war. Not play with you. Twiddle thumbs. Didn't he do neighbor? None of that. He gonna be striking through kings in the day of his wrath. Right. Come on, bro. He shall judge among the heathen. Oh. He shall fill the places with the dead body. Why? Come on. He shall wound the head over many countries. He gonna be filling places with dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Not my Jesus. <laughs> my God, my Jesus wouldn't do that. Let me read your Bible. Right. Lord is a warrior. He already showed up as the humble lamb. It's wartime when he get back. And the powers that be know that. They got their weapons pointed to our space. They doing all that for ET? They know some of you ain't figured out yet. 